What's up guys? Jessa here, and uh, this is obviously a little different than what I've done before. I'm recording on my laptop in my bed, and it's Sunday morning, and I'm just chilling out. Sundays are the best lazy days ever. I don't work on Sunday. I don't have to get up early. It is awesome. Right, Belle? Belle agrees. So I've actually got out of bed at one point and did a few chores, not all of them yet. Hi, Belle. And then I just decided to come back to bed. I did some laundry. I'll just chill out and be lazy for a little bit longer. But I got to thinking about this question that my niece sent me this week. And she, we get on like kid messenger, you know, and she's always sending me these questions like this or that questions. And this one was, would you rather travel to the past or see into the future? And I couldn't answer that question. I said neither. So I'm not really interested in doing either one. And Melissa was with me when I got the question. And she said, well, what do you mean neither? Wouldn't you want to see into the future so you could make decisions based on what you saw? And I, my short answer to that was, have you ever seen Butterfly Effect? It's a bad idea. It was one of my favorite movies for a long time, Butterfly Effect. And she goes, well... Maybe if you traveled into the past, then you could change things to have a different outcome. And, uh, you know, I went back to my butterfly effect reference there as well. Like, changing things in hopes of making a better outcome just never really works out. And a lot of that, though, was because I'm so happy with the outcome I have right now. I can't think of a, a lot of things I would want to change. Are there little things in the past that I wish I had acted differently towards other people? Absolutely. But, you know, she used the reference of, well, what if you knew if you did something, then uh, you would have a, uh, a promotion or something coming up at work? And I said, well, I'm not really interested in promotion. I've kind of been there, done that. And so it got me thinking about, you know, all the decisions I've made that have led up to this. You know, two years ago, I think it was two years ago, I, you know, I lost my job last year in April because of COVID. And I was so happy. <laughs> you know, a lot of people that lose their job are not as happy as I was. I, one, I was already looking for another job. And so by losing my job, I was able to take advantage of all the unemployment benefits that were being offered at the time. And it was the perfect time of year. I was starting my garden. I could be outside, work on projects, and I didn't have to go to a job that I hated. Hi, little baby. And so that worked out great. But prior to that, I was miserable at my job. You know, I really can't think of a, the last time I was really happy at work. You know, I've been in factory work like my whole life and worked my way up into factory management. And I really like it. I'm good at it. Um, even at my last job, I had a great team. They were awesome. Uh, we achieved really like record-breaking highs together, um, primarily production-wise, but safety-wise, you know, we came together. You know, we had some faults here and there, but really awesome team. And I hadn't had that um, since another factory that I worked at prior, um, and it was great. But I was still like. I had some major depression going on. Uh, a little bit of seasonal depression in there because it was... I remember winter being like the worst. And I being on night shift, I think, made it worse. And I could not even get myself out of bed sometimes. Like, and it was reflecting um, on my team at work. 
you know, it was like, where's Jessa? She's not here. And I tried to be as transparent as I could be. But at the same time, as the leader, it was kind of hard to do. And even sometimes I'd be at work, I'd drag myself to work. And I just felt like I could just break down and just start sobbing on the floor. Like, I don't know how many times my eyes would well up and I would have to go hide, essentially, just to pull myself back together. So, anyway, that's a lot of words to say. You know, are there things I would have changed in the past? Probably little things, but overall the outcome has worked out great. I have a job that I really enjoy. Um, I enjoy the hours. <laughs> it's part-time, so that's really nice. I don't like getting up early, but it's not that early, and um, I get the whole afternoon off, so that's awesome. Um, I'm with a partner that I love to death, and we make a great team. We always joke about that, but we really do. We complement each other. Um, I've got my farm, and there are things I want to continue to do, but it's at a great point that I really like. Um, I'll have time this year to really, you know, I'm, I'm starting on the right foot with my garden. You know, I can start seeds. I'm organized. I've got my seeds and like I'm feeling really good going into it. Um, and it's just great. Like I'm in a great point in my life right now. So, you know, if I saw into the future, I might change some things. You know, my finances, we've talked about that a lot, you know, that I'm like walking a pretty tight line there. And that's scary. So, um, those are some things that I look at and that I wouldn't go back and change anything because it might affect this outcome right now. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe give you something to think about. Sunday morning reflections or something. And, uh, you know, would you change anything? Or if you could see into the future, would you change something right now? You know, how grateful are you? Like, I guess that's what it comes down to, is I'm so grateful right now that I don't think I would change anything. Um, I've got a great place. It's paid off. You know, one, one debt I don't have to worry about is my farm. It's paid off. It's mine. And that has always been my dream. Even in college, that's... <laughs> I got cable at one point in my apartment in college. And I would watch... Um, the home HGTV and I would just dream about having my own house. Now granted this is my third house but this is it. This is the one I wanted. You know I have uh, four or five acres. Uh, I've got a few little sheds. I've got all the pets that I could dream of. Um, I got, it's just great. I got a big garden. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I wish that, I wish you the gratitude that I have because it's, it's really awesome. And uh, I better quit rambling because I still have more chores to do. The rabbits saw me come outside and not feed them. So they're probably a little upset by that. Melissa got me started on this television show, Dark Desires Obsession or something like that. And it's very addictive. Uh, I like true crime, stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> the rabbits in this TV series are at battle. But, um, I wish you well. I hope you're having an awesome Sunday. I hope your week was great. You're ready to tackle Monday and get after it. And, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.